Ayun guys, natapos din kami ng aming kalahating Kampala tour. Ngayon ko pa na feel yung aking pagod. Pero okay lang, go na go pa rin ako kasi ang dami ko pang mga bagong places na gustong makita dito sa Kampala. Ayun. At syempre ngayon, as a part of our rest, kakain muna tayo ng pananghalian. So sa taas, as you can see, there's a local restaurant. Kakain tayo at order tayo ng pagkaing lokal, pagkaing Ugandan. At titikman natin sabay-sabay at kakain tayo ng sabay-sabay. Let's go have a local lunch here in Kampala, Uganda. Can I take rice and something else? Yeah. You can yeah. mix in one food. Yeah. Can I have the, all the things? <laughs> With the beef. Beef as well. So, we'll give you all food. Mm -hmm. But don't put chili. Mm -hmm. I, I just have to be specific. Ah, it's okay. I have to give you clarification. Uh, I will take liver. Wait, our food is here. That's how you show happiness. <laughs> So, local food natin guys para ngayong araw kasama natin si Joseph. Ooh, Say hi. Yan, yan. <laughs> Then we have here Ben. So delicious. We must see how <laughs> they, they have to try Ugandan food, right? Definitely. Yes, don't miss Ugandan food in Uganda. Don't go for KFC, right? <laughs> go for this. Yeah? yeah? And of course, my best ever friend, Sarah Davis. How special you are! They have started by giving you. I was the first oh. to order. Oh, brought yours first. No. <laughs> are you sure that's mine? Everyone yeah, ordered the same. No, no, no. I ordered first. Uganda I mean, is what accommodating. Is yes, yes. Loving, that's true. So that is is that right? Uganda is loving. Yes. yes. <laughs> She was thinking. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Let's dig up. All right, Sarah. Anong in order mo? So here I have beef stew, I've ordered for beef stew and uh, matoke, posho, sweet potatoes. This Where's is, matoke? This is matoke. Yeah. Okay, let me use my fork. Matoke, posho, sweet potatoes, rice, mm -hmm. my favorite. Your favorite. <laughs> You're a Filipino now. <laughs> I think I am. Born Then, in the which, which greens is this? This is kumawiki, kale. Ah, kale. Okay. And what sauce do you have? I have a beef, beef stew. Mm -hmm. So Sarah and um, Ben and Joseph ordered the same thing. And syempre ako ay nagmanok ngayong araw dahil ilang beses na kaming kumain ng baka sa bahay. Malapit na akong tubuan ng buntok. So ito naman ang orderin natin ngayon. Ayan. Local chicken yun guys ha. Native chicken. Syempre ang local food composed of kamote, matoke, posho, balanghoy, Kanin at gulay. Let's go! Alright guys! Nandito na tayo ngayon sa East African Craft Market. When I say East African, it has also the souvenir from other countries like Kenya and some inspiration from Tanzania as well maybe some in uh, Rwanda but most especially for Uganda so this place speaks Ugandan culture so if you come with me makikita ninyo guys na ang dami nilang binibenta dito from the meat ayan hanggang sa sapatos hanggang sa earrings so i was i was here before already ang daming mga gandang products dito nagawa locally and the price is very friendly So uh, let's see what they have around and come with me. Okay guys, syempre dapat i-check natin kung anong nasa loob para mapatunayan ko sa inyo that this place speaks Uganda and African culture. Let's go. So, katulad yung tindahan na to, Jabaleko? Kale, kale. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for allowing me to check your store. Yes, please. All right. You can proceed and check for all of Thank you. Can you say hello to my viewers? Hello viewers, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, Jim from uh, First Village uh, Uganda Road and uh, here with uh, a colleague, she, uh, she wants to take you through what yes. we sell and everything yes. so we can keep watching mm -hmm. and see what we have to avail with you. Alright, thank you. 
So dito na side guys, ang pinakauna mo makikita sa mga tindahan ng mga African craft market actually are the accessories from earrings to bracelet. Ayan. Siyempre, meron din dito mga keychain, key holder. Merong iba't ibang klaseng mga accessories sa katawan. Meron din mga uh, yung nilalagay sa paa, anklet. Meron din silang mga earrings made of beads and of course made of bones, animal bones. So tingnan mo to guys, ang ganda. Look at this. Authentic African beauty. In this side naman, merong mga bags na gawa sa dahon at gawa sa mga materyales na galing sa puno. On the other hand, ito ay gawa naman sa leather. Most of the time guys, leather ng baka ang ginagamit nila. So i-check natin dito sa loob. This for me are really cute. Ito ay handmade pero ang ganda. Pwedeng lagyan ng tinapay or accessory sa loob ng kwarto. Siyempre hindi mawawala yung chitenge fabric. Chitenge or African fabric. Pwedeng gawing bag, pwede gawing purses, pwede gawing t-shirts. Everything you can make under the sun. Like this guys. This is a chitenge gawa sa Africa. Ah, this is a hat made of chitenge. Oh. Diba? That's nice. And then of course, dito naman merong mga uh, containers and organizers. Gawa din yan sa African grass. So, sobrang ganda. Uy, eto pala guys. The first thing I noticed when I came here in Uganda ay kung gaano kaganda yung kanilang mga handmade leather sandals. And it's decorated with beads. As you can see, close up natin. Ang ganda nito. I think I have to get one for myself. So, ikutin pa natin tong tindahan and let's see what they have. Going to Entebbe Beach. Ooh. What is Entebbe Beach? <laughs> <laughs> no, Entebbe Beach. I uh, another content next time. We are going there, right? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. We are going to show you guys the beach in Uganda. It's very unique. <laughs> not with the white water, the blue water. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. but you will know more next time. Let's not ruin the fun here. We're going to talk to them more about it. So make sure that you subscribe in my YouTube channel and Sarah Davis YouTube channel. Sarah Pedun. Sorry, Sarah Pedun. She's using Sarah Pedun sa YouTube channel niya. Okay, palabas na kami ng East African Arts and Crafts Village. Siyempre, we have here some paintings. Guys, this is something we have to be really really proud of and show the world the amazing African talent. Okay guys, ngayon nakarating din tayo sa ating panglima or panganim na spot during our Kampala walking tour and right now we are here at World War Memorial Monument. So ngayon guys, ginawa tong Memorial Monument na to to commemorate the lives of our brothers and sisters na Ugandans na sumali at uh, nagbuwis ng buhay nila sa during World War 1 and World War 2. And this side is the monument. 
So, kukuha, nakakuha na tayo ng picture dito at saka video clip. Alam nyo guys, tatlong taon na ako dito sa Uganda pero hindi ko pa to, hindi ko alam na meron palang monument na ganito. So, walking tour is a very good way for me to know Kampala more. Ayan guys, merienda time tayo, Ugandan way. Aha, what is that mango? This is African mango. Yeah! So juicy. So sweet! <laughs> Uh, and it's only how much you have to tell us about the price. Uh, the price is only 1,000 Ugandan shillings. Or about 10 pesos. 10 pesos. Yeah! In Filipino. <laughs> In Filipino money. Snapchat, 20 bucks. Yes. If you talk about dollars. Oh, <laughs> no, that's expensive then. 20 bucks? Yeah. That's not, that's, okay. Yeah. yeah, this is nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I want. Not very ripe. <laughs> but it's sweet, right? Yeah. Dito sa Kampala, guys, or... Actually, dito sa Uganda, it's a very common thing na makakita kayo na nagbibenta sila ng mangga. Ayan! Sobrang ganda, sobrang sarap, at sobrang tamis. At binibenta lang to sa street sides. Minsan marami sila sa palengke on the side of the street. So, sobrang mura at sobrang healthy na snack. Pampala way. See? That's how they feel. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is like 20 kilograms. Look at that, I cannot even walk with, with I cannot even walk like a model, but she was walking like nothing. Mango! It's very heavy, Sara. Sara, it's very heavy. How many kilograms? It's like pushing me down on the ground. Thank you. Guys, dinala ko yan. 20 kilos yan. Pero tingnan nyo siya parang model. Ako parang natatae. Ayan, o ba? O may pababa pa. Pak. Grabe. Nice. <laughs>